in this question, Betsy is making muffins, and she uses 128.4 grams of flour to make six muffins. And we want to determine how much flour does it take to make 72 muffins. What we might notice right away is that we're dealing with direct proportion here. That means if we're going to make more muffins, we're going to need more flour. And the amount of flour we'll need will be proportional. So let's look at how much flour we use and how many muffins we can make. So Betsy used 128.4 grams of flour and from that got six muffins. Now we have to find out how much flour it would take, so a question mark for the amount of flour to make 72 muffins. Now when we're dealing with direct proportion, we could make this little grid here of four spaces. And we're trying to equate the, how much flour it takes for each of the muffins. So we stick the equal sign in the middle there. And then because it's directly proportional, we can cross multiply these elements. So if I was to make an equation out of this, I'd get 128.4 times 72 equals 6 times the question mark. Now because I'm multiplying the 6 by the question mark, if I want to get rid of the 6, I do the opposite operation and simply divide both sides by 6. And when I do that, I'd see that the 6's would cancel on this side, and I'd just be left on this side with the question mark. Now all I have to do is solve for the question mark. And the first thing I might notice is that 6 goes into 72. That would be once carry the 1 12 times. So my value for the question mark would be 128.4 times 12. So let's work that out. I've got 128.4 times 12. So 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, bring down a 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. Then we add these up, 8 plus 0 is 8, that would be 10, carry the 1, that would be 14, carry the 1, that would be 5, and then just the 1 on left at the end, and because I got a 0 here, Oh, sorry, a decimal here that is just one um, space over. I just remember to bring one space over in the answer. And so our question mark here is 1,540.8 grams, because we're dealing with figuring out how much flour. So it's dealing flour is in grams. And if we look down our list here, we can see that option three looks like it's the right answer. But let's just confirm it just, and try another little method that we could use here just to see if it does make sense. Well, if you look at the number of muffins, I'm going from 6 to 72. How much more, how many times more um, am I trying to make here? Well, as we found out, I could divide 72 by 6 and realize that I'm actually creating 12 times the amount of muffins. So because this is direct proportion, then I want to make 12 times, uh, or use 12 times the amount of flour. So as we saw here again, there's that where we got that um, expression here, 128.4 times 12 means we're taking 12 times the amount of flour. We work that out to be this number, which indeed gives us the right answer.